The Story of the One-Horned Buffalo Once upon a time there was a young man who lived in the middle of a rugged mountainous area, where there was only a narrow trail like a rope. He was an orphan so he had no one else in the world. He was completely alone in a small cottage, relying only on his two diligent hands to cultivate a barren field. One day, after the harvest season, there was a farmer. A market in town. He carried two bundles of rice and followed the path down to the valley. After selling the rice, he walked around the grocery stores and noticed a small store with pens, crayons, drawing charcoal, Chinese ink and paint on the counter. Pine paper. At that time, he really wanted to try drawing something. But he only had a few coins in his hand, not enough to buy such expensive things. But in the end he told himself he could buy oil for just a small stick of drawing charcoal. After wondering for a long time, he bought a charcoal ingot with the money from selling rice. He was anxious and hurried back home with his treasure. Coming home, he picked a large banana leaf, then sat on a rock and began to draw. What he had dreamed of for a long time had come true. Because he felt sad about being alone all the time, he drew silky gray hair and two intelligent eyes, with only one horn on his forehead. Kind friend, if you were fair please stay with me and help me plow. How much fun it is to always have the two of you. He said and sighed. Then he hung the picture on the wall. But when he stepped onto the field, he was stunned into silence. A buffalo with smooth gray fur, two intelligent eyes and just one horn on its forehead was standing tall in front of the door. He rubbed his eyes and pinched his hands to see if he was awake or dreaming. But the buffalo stood there, intimately craning its neck to look at him. Not believing his eyes, he rushed into the house to look again at the buffalo he had just drawn. The leaves are clean and smooth, without any drawing marks. So he understood that the one-horned smooth gray-haired buffalo standing in front of the door was the buffalo he had drawn. From then on, his son lived happily with his friend. During the day, they went to the fields to work together, and at night they slept with their backs to each other. But one day, a group of the Emperor and Number 39's soldiers came to practice on the road to his house. The buffalo is so strange, there is only one. That one horn. A spirit shouted loudly. Its meat must be very delicious, the emperor definitely wants to eat it. The son wasted no time begging, but the soldiers were unmoved. They took away his only joy, leaving him to cry. Give me back my friend. He cried as he chased them to the palace door. But the door slammed shut just as the soldiers brought their prey inside. The poor boy is left outside. I beg you. Open the door, give my friend back. He pleaded. That and number 39. S my only friend. My only joy in this world. I don and number 39. T need anyone but it. But your prayers are useless. He sat by the palace door, his head in his hands, tears streaming down his face. After a while, the door opened, and the soldiers threw bones and a buffalo horn close to his feet. They scoffed, here and number 39, s what and number 39, s left of your friend. The emperor praised him and told him that his food was delicious. He picked up the bones and horn, wrapped them carefully in his shirt and returned home. Everywhere he went he cried, but he could not bring his friend back to life. When he got home, he hung the horn on the wall, then went outside and dug a hole near the house, put the buffalo bone down, and covered it with soil. 
Some time later, where he buried the buffalo bones, a lush bamboo shoot grew. It grew quickly and soon became a bamboo tree. Every day he comes to watch the bamboo grow. He caressed each bamboo leaf and listened to their gentle murmur. The bamboo tree grew so fast that one day the bamboo tip disappeared into the white clouds. This is definitely not an ordinary bamboo tree, he whispered. I have to see how high it grows. And quat, and he climbed up the straight bamboo trunk. He climbed higher, higher and higher. He was dizzy but still climbed up. He came to a massive white cloud with a strange shape. He lifted the fog and saw a large blue door open. He did not hesitate, confidently walked forward, went through the door, straight into heaven. So beautiful. Everywhere is full of flowers and fragrant. Fairies row small boats on clear blue water. Suddenly one of the fairies saw him. She let out a scream and everything disappeared. Heaven also disappeared. Only a mountain peak remains above the white clouds. Suddenly the bamboo tree shuddered, vibrated and began to shrink, smaller and smaller, and he found himself on bare ground again. It all happened so fast that he did in and hash 39. T know if it was real or if he was just dream. But every time his mind remembered the beautiful faces of the fairies in the sky. So beautiful that he daydreamed about how happy he would be if he had one of them as his wife. But is the sky too high right now? Every day he only had one thought. How to return to heaven. One night, he had a dream. He met his old friend, the one-horned buffalo. It smiled with intelligent eyes and said to him in human language, Why do you keep worrying and worrying? Have you forgotten your drawing talent? If you want to have a fairy as your wife, just draw a picture of her. If you can draw, you should use my horn as a horn. As soon as he woke up, he ran out to pick a large boat of banana leaves. He went back into the house, took out a charcoal stick and drew. By the evening of the tenth day, he was able to draw the face of a fairy so beautiful that he was deeply moved. Remembering the words of the one-horned buffalo, he took down the horn from the wall, brought it to his lips and blew hard. At that moment everything vibrated, a pure scent enveloped him, and a pink light shone throughout the house. The fairy walked out of the painting, jumped down, and smiled lovingly. From then on, the son and his fairy wife lived in happiness. Until one day, the emperor and number 39, s soldiers passed by there again. Look at that beauty! A soldier shouted loudly when he saw the fairy. Surely she would please the emperor. And the soldiers took her away, leaving him and his wife crying and begging. He ran after the soldiers to the palace door. He cried, he pleaded, told them that he could not live without his beloved wife but all his protests were ineffective. People answered him with punches, kicks and curses. He returned home, helpless and desperate. He sat down and cried. Suddenly his eyes lit up. And quat, I figured it out. And quat, he whispered and brightened up. He quickly took a stick of charcoal and drew on a banana leaf. In a moment, a winged tiger appeared on the boat, bearing its fierce fangs and looking like it was about to jump up. He removed the buffalo horn from the wall and blew it loudly, making the whole mountain and forest tremble. The tiger jumped out of the painting, he climbed on its back, and so they rushed to the palace. Seeing the wild beast, the guards were terrified. They fled inside, leaving the door wide open.
In just two steps, the tiger was in the banquet room, where the attendants had just brought the chained and crying fairy to the emperor. The tiger roared horribly, opened its huge mouth and swallowed the emperor and his entourage whole. The son jumped to the fairy wife and number 39's side, hugged her and climbed onto the tiger and number 39's back. Jumping a few times over the heads of the guards, a few times over deep pools, the winged tiger landed near the thatched roof. After letting him and his wife step down, the tiger spread its wings and flew away into the clouds. After those events, he and his wife lived peacefully and happily. If they hadn't and hash 39. T died, they would probably still be alive like that in the mountains. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.